Welcome back, everybody. Um, I off camera did a teeny touch of work, threw some pipes in, iron chest to store all of my ores and stuff. Uh, I gotta go mining and collect some stuff so I can have it automatically sort out. Uh, this whole sorting system, huge overhaul needed. Got a bunch of iron, so I thought is that I would go ahead and make myself some iron armor. Because, let's face it, that wooden stuff I've got is kind of junky. And, I mean, sure, steel's not exactly the best. But it's definitely better than what I have right now. And I got plenty of steel, so... No worries there. Alright. Right now I have 22.5. And let's see... 45. Very nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and chuck that stuff in here. You know, just in case, per adventure, something bad happens, I'll have a little bit of a deposit to draw back on. I don't know what the unknown item's from. Man, blah, 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 blah. That's all good and well. That's all fine. Wish it was daylight. I got stuff I want to do. Oh, hey, there's a giant squid just chilling out there next to my garden. Um, well, I guess if it's evidently nighttime, I could do a little work here. I do have a shovel. Good. Oh, and I have a stone pickaxe. I should break that thing. Okay, so there is enough where I can put stone roof up here. So that's good. That's getting close. Unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of stone to use because I went and cooked all my cobble and turned it into normal stone because I wanted that because I thought it would be good to have which it is but I maybe went a little overboard could have been a little overly zealous in in what I was doing but is what it is can't do anything about it now and besides when has there ever been a shortage on cobblestone like I can't remember there ever being one so plan is here to you know maybe I should drop the floor down that would pretty much give me a ton more cobble I knew that was gonna happen so we have this. Dun -dun. It's probably best to keep the deeper ceilings, higher ceilings, deeper floors, whatever, because I want to put lights up on the ceiling. And lights on the ceiling don't work well when you don't have the ceiling height. So that should work. This all actually has to be dug out as well. I think I'm just going to leave the floor, the tile that it is. I don't see any point in digging that all out to just place this. Okay, um... I don't really know. Something's trying to get through block them off. I don't really know how far out I want that to go. This is kind of like what I'm thinking my storage thing is going to be. So what I'm going to do is close it off here. And then I can always go back if I need to. I know back is a safe direction to go. I don't know if further out is safe though. 
because there is water there at some point. And it'd be best to avoid bumping into that. So for the time being, I'll just leave this wall uncompleted like that. And I'll throw a torch right there. I might have that go out. So what I'll do is I'll end up having a whole pipe system going around with um, tubes coming down to chests or something. I don't really know. Because tubes connect to each other. Unless there's some kind of a tube that doesn't. Crossing, detecting, digiline. <laughs> you have some one way ones. <clears throat> well, uh, one way tube only allows stuff to go down or up. I don't know about sideways crossing, I would imagine it doesn't work. Oh. That's cool. But yeah, basically I just want to... I'll probably have to run the whole tube down. So whenever I actually start storing the chest, tube will have to be running here and they'll just be sorting tubes to shove this stuff down or let it through. I'm not 100% sure. I do need to find some food though. Oh, that guy's right there. Just doesn't give up. I think I have food in this. I got some food here. Interesting sound effects. Okay, well. There's a whole welcoming committee for me out there. Wow. Yeah, see, I don't really want to have to fight you guys. But you're not exactly giving me much chance, much choice. Where's this collision box? Really? I just wanted to step outside my door. go exploring what I need to do is find some wheat seeds oh really yeah that is itself okay so I need to get another one of those I want to say in previous episodes before oh is night falling really in previous episodes, I was, uh, uh, I was going to, um, man, I was going to do something. Go down to a cave room. Actually, was it in a cave room? I think I was. You just can't do anything at night time. So I think... Going to one of these... Yeah, and then going off like this way or something. I feel like I had... Uh, I ended up dying down in the lava here. Actually... Oh, lots of friendly animals out here. So much stuff just waiting to be nabbed. But I can't nab anything because I don't have any tools. Like legit, I don't have any tools. Well, that worked well. Well... Go back to my house. Yay, I wanted to go 
do cool stuff, but... There's a cave back here, actually. I know it's there because I went and found it off camera. While I was looking for grass. Which I didn't find any of. Oddly enough. Oh yeah, I can really see what's going on here. See so well. I can't see at all. Other than all these dandelions. Just kind of following the map. Oh hey, my bones. Sweet, let's throw the armor back on. Though honestly, that armor didn't seem to do a whole lot when it came to protecting me against that heron. Here we are, okay. I discovered this cave. And this cave had all sorts of goodies in it. And I thought to myself, I need to plunder, pillage, and loot this cave. But I couldn't do that off camera. So I decided I would record another episode right away. So this is pretty much being recorded like 10 minutes after last week's episode. And, uh, you know, not knowing how, how long this server is going to stay up. I'm hoping this is pretty much solved for good now. And that it'll be a constant, dependable thing. But, always best to prepare. Oh, no, some iron up here. I need that. Even though, yes, I already have a ton of iron. Always need more. And that's it. Mm, what's this? Probably tin. Like, the most worthless thing ever, but... You know what? We'll take it. If it's to be had, it shall be taken. It went down further. Yes. More iron. Some tin, I'm assuming. Ah, oh, there was nothing here. This way, I ran out of torches. So I don't know. Wow. This is, this is a legit cave. Oh, and it keeps going here too. Nice. Not quite as many resources as you would find in, oh, say a cave realm. But still a lot of goodies. This might be silver. I think that was lead. Pretty sure that was tin. See some copper over here. And I definitely need me copper. Because I need to get the rest of those solar panels hooked up. And I need to make some more batteries. Though I think batteries use tin. Oh, and it goes down? Ooh, to a lava lake. I don't know what's in there. It looks dangerous. So I think I'm going to block that up. Just because I don't want to accidentally fall in there. I'm honestly very surprised that there are no monsters in here. Like, I would have expected there to be, I don't know, a Mies monster, a dungeon master, something. One of those goofy little guys with the cape, Orky or, 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 or whatever. But nothing. Not even a rat. And I know mobs are definitely still here because when I was down in that cave realm, there were a few. Right. Let's 
We'll make some more torches. The lake of lava. I need a safe way to get down there. I don't know if there are any though. Oh, it goes up. Wow, I'm gonna get... Oh, I literally just jumped. Like, I'm not, I'm not joking. <sighs> I literally jumped. Oh, man. And that's why some people do the whole... Wasn't I just here and wasn't there a light in there? And that's why some people do the whole face cam thing. Because those reactions are fun. Why do you... If I die... Phew! Got some obsidian out of that. Which I don't think I have any real use for. Chomp, chomp, chomp! Let's get healthy again. <sighs> okay. While I was just running through here, I happened to notice some iron. So I'm going to grab that. Silver, I think. And... Oh, does it dead end? It does. Nope, I take that back. It doesn't. It keeps on going. It's like the gift that just keeps giving. And then you fall down a deep hole. That doesn't go anywhere. All right, well, let's pillage. Pillage and loot. It's the name of the game here. This is actually a pretty slick cave. A lot of good stuff to be had. And a lot of stuff I'm gonna grab. Because I need all this stuff. I need it, I need it, I need it. That sounds super greedy. But, to get ahead in the game, the rat race. You know, the thing called life. Or in this case, a video game. Sometimes you just got to be an overachiever and collect everything. You should get overly obsessed about cobble. I need it. I need every piece of cobble. I must mine it all. When you hit that point, that's when you know you have a problem. Oh, good. I got wood. I was just about to be sad that I was out of sticks. And then I realized I had 10 blocks of wood. Because I definitely need this copper. Alright, well. Ooh, and there's a bit more up there. This has been a good trip. I can go home and feel happy about myself. Not that I ever go back home after a trip in mine test. And don't feel good about myself. Like, if you come home alive, it's a good trip. Ah, hello, Mr. Dragon. It's... It's sad that I only take four points each time I hit you with my tools. I can kind of spam him. I don't even know what he drops. Diamond? Messy shard? Or nothing. Looks like nothing is the correct answer. How do I get down there? Oh, I want to. It looks like there's so many valuable things. But I don't see a safe way of doing it. Ah, another dragon. And this guy is not stuck. But maybe he is. I don't know. 
He's just standing there. Where does this go? No, nowhere. How do I get out? Where's the exit? How did I get in here? I don't, I don't remember. Oh, it was this way, maybe. No, I don't think so. Where was it? Maybe. There's enough lights to support that idea, but no. Ah, I'm not quite tall enough. This is the end of the tunnel. So I had to have come in from this area someplace. Oh, was it over to this side? Ah, oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I think it's Vaz. I don't know why I'm really bothering to go through the trouble of getting out this way. When I could simply do home. Yay! Okay, now I need to set up this filter. This filter system right now is mm, let's just say far from good. Chomp, 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 chomp. All right, and now let's go ahead and throw these things in there. And if everything goes right, it should pop out of the bottom side and travel through the tubes or try to go into a chest that is full, which should probably remedy. Okay, no, I don't know. Okay, so it's not doing stacks. It's not, that's dumb. Isn't there a stack wise? There is. Of course, if I use the stack wise to do this, I would run the risk of not having enough time for a machine to finish processing before it got more inputs. So I think that's why I had it set up that way. Eventually that'll have to be changed because that's just a dumb system to use right now, but it is a working system. And I mean, I'm still on LV, so I can't use pipes to sort anything and then process it all automatically for me. So I'm kind of stuck at this point anyway. I do want to I want to make some more batteries. Low voltage battery. Pretty inexpensive. Pretty in tin and copper. All right, well, that's what we'll be doing next episode. We'll be making batteries and battery boxes. We got to make all that stuff anyways if we want to upgrade to medium voltage, so... May as well, because you need all the lower tiered ones to upgrade to the higher tier ones. So, we will we'll end it off here, and next time around, connect to solar panels and build a larger battery bank. So hopefully we don't have to worry about running out of power in the middle of the night and throwing bottles of oil into the uh, furnace. I'll catch you guys whenever the next episode comes out.